Hey guys, I, I need to start this video uh, with an apology. Uh, YouTube had to step in. Uh, some of you may have noticed this video went up this past Thursday. It was up for like an hour, maybe a little bit more than an hour. At first, YouTube just age restricted it. And like a little bit after that, they then sent me a message and they pointed out something in the video that I said that uh, that was a little inappropriate and I, I agreed. I had mentioned in that video that it was uh, a movie commentary Monday and I had uploaded it on Thursday and YouTube was not having that. They said it was misinformation. So they asked me to take it down and then re-upload it today, which is Monday. And the thing is like, I, you guys know me. You guys know every single Monday, I'm gonna have a movie commentary up and on this channel. And I thought just like this one time I would just upload on a Thursday and uh, I thought I could get away with it. YouTube said no, that's not appropriate. And um, so yeah, I had to re-upload this video today, which is which is Monday. So that was the big thing. Uh, also, there was, a, there was a certain scene in the movie uh, that YouTube thought was a little too graphic. I didn't think it was that bad. And then also one of the words that the actors say, uh, I decided just in case I'm going to make it sound like when the actors say that word, it sounds like it's uh, being said underwater. You're gonna know the word once you see it contextually. They keep saying it too. I didn't say it. I changed the word out for a different word. You guys will see. This video is really good. Uh, I take that with a great assault because I think all my videos are really good. But I, I especially enjoyed this one, so I hope you like it too. So yeah, enjoy it. Hello, troublemakers. Welcome into another movie commentary Monday. Want to show you something quickly? 114 degrees outside today. I am in a sweater. Why? I need to wear this because I, I, this is like my comfort. I need to be comforted. I feel like I'm being hugged right now. We're about to watch a horror movie. I don't do super well with horror. <laughs> ah, my hair is standing up. But I think I can handle this. And actually this movie kind of reminded me uh, with the smile demon. Remember Truth or Dare? We watched that movie. And that movie had people who smiled sometimes. Like they smiled big and creepily. And I think this movie had an ad in the Super Bowl where their people were like smiling big. And I thought it was the same thing almost. Oh yeah, like the, the demon drool. That's, that's gross, demon. Demon. That's horror in its own way. God, droolers? Couldn't be me. I'd never drool the day of my life. Buy a rent. Oh. Is it, is it a big deal? You know what I'm thinking in my head? is I could either get HD for $4 or Ultra HD for $6. And for two more dollars, however many hundreds of thousands of people that watch this will get a slightly better experience, but I'm gonna be out $2. So do I choose myself keeping $2 for several hundred to maybe like a million people having a slightly better experience for $2? Is it worth it? I'm sorry. Like, I love you guys, but like, it's $2. <laughs> no, 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 okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'll pay, I'll, I'll do it, guys, okay? I do love you $2 worth. $3, you're pushing it. Here we go, here we go. Uh. Hey, hey, hey. Where's, I paid $2. Did I just get ripped off? I'm pissed, I hope the demon kills everybody including the director and producers. How dare you steal $2? Are you dead? Are you dead? You can't scare me. I'm too pissed off right now to be scared. What? She drooled. Look at all that drool. That's dry drool too. Oh, her mom OD'd. And now she's an adult. Okay. Psychiatrist? Psychologist? Hmm? Dr. Cutter. Can we, let's, actually, let me just check. Uh, smile. 79. Sussy, Sussy Bacon? Sussy Bacon? That's crazy, that's a crazy name. It doesn't really have a captivating setup. I feel like I should have been captivated by now. Am I still pissed about the $2? Maybe that's infecting my viewing experience. <laughs> sussy. Are you buying that door, Sussy? Hey, Sus. Hey. Dutch angle. Why? Why? Terrible. Oh, no. A professor at her school bludgeoned himself to death with a hammer. Bludgeoned himself? With a hammer? No one would ever do that. Something is awry. Just tell me what's going on. It's, it's like it wears people's faces like, like masks. Do you see it right now here? Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey. I thought she was about to turn into it. It's not an hallucination. No, it's real. You don't get it. It, it does things <laughs> to It would be the absolute worst situation ever because there are a bunch of like actually crazy people who see things who are like no no no, i swear it's real 
but it's not real? Like, how do you convince other people you're not crazy? Because crazy people all the time are like, I'm not crazy. Oh, what a nightmare. Oh, it tells me things. Uh, she's like, oh, you're crazy. <laughs> Trauma, uh -oh. Uh -oh. our uh -oh. minds. You're not listening to me. <sighs> see, this shot is interesting. I thought when she looked up, she was gonna see the uh, the therapist like smiling as she sang the, the, her lines. Oh my God. Look at me. <gasps> Oh, 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 we're now. close. She's gonna turn. She's gonna turn. She's gonna be right on her face. Oh, no. We're chilling. Just kidding. Oh, uh, scare. 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 Oh, she looked friendly. Was she supposed to be scary? This is a friendly demon. It doesn't even look that sharp. Well, that doesn't look like it would feel good. Damn, that thing cuts, huh? Well, look at how grainy that is. Is that the 480? Is that 480 coming and kicking our ass? The rest of it looks HD. I don't know if this is accurate. It looks HD, perhaps even ultra HD. Did we get our $2 worth? She was having paranoid delusions. She was convinced that some huh. sort of evil presence was haunting her. Confidentiality much? Pretty unethical. Wait, does that, does confidentiality cease once there's a crime? Or a death? It's just we're gonna have to contact Miss Weaver's family and attempt to explain what happened. Oh yeah, she took a pretty dull object and slashed her face in the... That's pretty cool. How are you gonna make a horror film around smiling though? You better scare me. I brought Screamosaurus with me, because in case the sweater wasn't enough, I'd have Screamy. Who could scream with me? But like, I don't know that I'm gonna get scared. Oh, she got a cat. They never kill cats in horror movies. Cats gonna be all right. What if a cat starts smiling? <laughs> a lot of center framing in the uh, the shots, which is abnormal. Usually you'll have, you'll have shots like this, where the camera is broken into thirds. Yep, and then like right there, she just flipped to the other third, right? Making use of the whole frame. Especially in horror movies, you really wanna make use of frame. You got the window back here, you got like darkness over here. Even if it's small, barely anyone notices, you can have something flash over here. You know, just like a shadow or something. And we're moving. Where are we going? If it's her cat and the cat's just smiling. Uh, that's her reflection. Is that a mirror? Oh, that looks a little scary. I'm backing up. Rose. <laughs> My bad. Did I scare you? No, she dropped the glass out of joy of seeing your face. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. He's dead. A patient died today. Uh, I'm sorry. That's an understatement. Like, she didn't die. It happened right in front of me. Yeah. It was awful. It was worse than awful. What can I do? This is a nice start. You love him too much. <laughs> He's dead. It's unfortunate. God knows what kind of non-organic garbage that capture is even serving. Barely She's have dead. any time to run my own errands. Like, I haven't been to Pilates in a week, so can my body is- She's dead. Oh my god. She's talking about like non-organic foods and going to Pilates classes and complaining about running errands. She's so dead, right? Oh, sorry, what's Saturday? Rose Jackson's seventh wow. birthday party. Is this exactly why you have to get out of that girl's hospital? There have to be plenty of crazies out there who will actually pay you for your time. He's dead too. Wait, 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 what, what, did, what did he say? You're kidding, right? What did he this say? This is why I become a doctor if you can't get disgustingly right. Doesn't she have like a really, like a nice modernish house on some acreage? Wasted earning potentials, we could always sell the fucking house. I just, I don't understand you, it's literally just sitting there. We grew up in that house. Other uh, sisters! Okay. It's a total tear. And she- Tear down, why not just get the money for the land? Can you- It's a tear down? No, it's not! You guys, just shut the fuck up! Jesus, aggressive. I hate everybody. I hope this demon kills everybody. Thank you so much. I hope the waiter dies too. I don't care. You could die. How is this a tear down? I hope the cat dies too. No, I want the cat to smile. If the cat smiles, I'm gonna lose it. What are you- I was on a- I was on a call nearby and I just thought I would- You know, we didn't really get to talk yesterday other than the whole- Oh, he's an ex. He's an ex? So why are you here? You know, like I said, I was on a call nearby and I just, you know, I thought I would come check on you. You know, after everything that happened yesterday, that's- that's not an easy thing. I appreciate it, but I don't need you to check on me. No, yeah, I mean- Sorry. He's a good guy. Her current boyfriend is cheating on her. One of the two guys has to be a sleazebag. It's just the rules of things, all right? And this guy is going out of his way to check in on her. You do know she's engaged, right? Not for long. Yeah. I'm single. <laughs> That's funny. Just dealing with some stuff. I wasn't being very good company. Woo! You got a smiler! Get your binoculars out, girl. Finally, let's get some let's get some action going here. Yes, I was just about to fucking say that too. It's an interesting shot. 
I was like, I hope there was someone in the background who was just smiling. I think she is gonna notice. She does notice. Yep. And she goes in. Wait, is he gonna still be smiling when she goes back to look? He is. Hey, Carl. Uh oh. How are you feeling today? <laughs> oh, that's unnerving. Okay. Okay. Hang tight. Don't get closer. What are you doing? I don't like this. Hey. You know, smile. Hey, girl. Ooh. Okay. Like you know, smiling. The girl that you saw, she was smiling, and when she was, she did the thing to her, to her face and throat. And then you read the police report that said that she saw the guy smiling before he bludgeoned himself with a hammer. So you know the smiling thing. Oh, don't get close. She's gonna die. I'm gonna die. You're going to die. You're going to die. You're, you're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. But yesterday, a patient in your care brutally in front of you. She doesn't even get like a day off. <laughs> like a patient just does that to themselves and they're like, okay, see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. sharp. Give her a day, a week even. I do wish we connected with her character a little bit more. She likes trains? That's nice. Let us, yeah, let us bond with her character. Oh, yep, fiance, he's not cutting it. Other guys checking in on her. Fiance, oh, I gotta stay at work. My career's more important than you. <laughs> That's good. Whenever you're scared, you should just drink a lot. That usually helps. <laughs> Why does she, yo, you're gonna be out of glasses pretty soon. It's gonna be your cat. Your cat tripped your alarm. I'm not even gonna get worried. It's a demon. It's a demon that's after her. A demon's not gonna break into her house. I'm not scared at all. Not even the slightest. <laughs> you can't. You can't keep me with your jump scares. You tried two! You tried the alarm and then the phone. This is first line security. The back door of my house is open. Are you alone in the house, ma'am? Yes. Are you sure? Are you sure you haven't let something inside, Rose? Ooh, that's scary. Look behind you. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> I'm not getting scared because like I know a demon is not gonna break into her house. Like if a demon's brazen enough to possess somebody in a like a busy uh, hospital ward or psych ward, whatever that was, it's not gonna like secretly break into her house. Hello. This is first line security. May I have your name and the passcode? Does anyone else feel that way? I wonder. I wonder how uh, ubiquitous that feeling is. Like if I know I'm dealing with a, a demon. I'm not worried about home invasion. I don't know if you guys feel the same way. Like, I, I, there was no chance I was gonna get scared in that entire scene. Cause the demon, especially in the first third or the first quarter of the movie, the demon's not gonna break into her house. These false alarms happen all the time. That's a nice car. Is that a fiance? Oh, he's got a good job too. He's gotta die. He's too fortunate in life. Mustache? Is there a reason you set the alarm? I literally don't remember doing it. I must have just like set it by accident or something. Is there a reason you set the, I'll, why wouldn't you set an alarm when you're home alone at night? Why are you upset that she set the alarm? Suspicious? It, it doesn't matter. There's a demon after her. He's not a he's not a suspect. By accident? Sorry. Why have an alarm if you're not gonna set it? If you got the security system, use it. Always it's always better to be secure. Which is why you guys should be using NordVPN, today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. <laughs> Long time sponsor on this channel, NordVPN is. You guys, at this point, you guys know what they do, right? Websites can track your information when you use their sites. Including, they have access to your location, your IP address. NordVPN acts as an intermediary. So this is you, companies are coming for your information, and then Nord's like, no. You don't want them to have your information because oftentimes, they use that information and they sell it. And the last thing you want is your personal information given to a spammer, a scammer, a stanner. But apart from the general safety that you get when you use NordVPN, the more well-known benefit is getting access to movies and TV shows that are outside of your region. Let me give you an example. Like twice a year, I get this insatiable urge to binge K-dramas. Literally yesterday, just yesterday, was one of those two times for this year. I got the strong urge to go watch Strong Girl Bong Soon. It's actually a rewatch. I watched it years ago. It was on Netflix. It was so good. I go to check Netflix 
it's not there. They removed it. So last night, I fired up Nord, selected Singapore, the one and only place in the world where you can watch Strong Girl Bong Soon on Netflix. I am seven episodes in. It hasn't even been a full day. You can head to nordvpn.com slash in trouble. When you sign up, you get a 30-day money-back guarantee. But if you're also into K-dramas, then hey, just letting you know, Singapore has Strong Girl Bong Soon. That's the beautiful thing about Nord. It's very inexpensive, and it gives you such an expanded catalog of shows and movies that you can watch. Watch. The link will be in the description. Nord is widely considered one of the best, if not the best, VPN. So I would highly recommend them. Thank you, Nord, sponsoring this video. Sorry. <laughs> Everything is okay. Oh, I don't believe you at all. You sure? No, no, I'm fine. I was just venting. Okay. Pride! Oh my god! Oh, yeah, he, this guy's dead for sure. He's not attentive at all. Rose, did you break another glass? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You're gonna need a whole new dishware set. Psst, psst, psst. Wait, is the cat dead? So, ooh, I, I just feel like moving. I'm sorry. It's gonna get weird. Don't worry about me. Let's, let's, let's watch the movie. Mustache. Is the cat dead? We got a dead cat? It looks like I'm happy. I'm just moving, I swear. Sometimes when I got wide sleeves, I just, I feel like the need to do this too. I'm a child. You really can't take me anywhere in public. Cause sometimes I'll just be like, And he doesn't even wake up when you need him. He's so dead. Oh, there's something in the audio. Laura. I want to be honest, this is some clean ass audio that you have in this wide echoey room. Laura. Laura. Oh, I hate this. All right, uh, we're about to get scared, but it's gonna be the boyfriend. It's gonna be the fiance tapping her on the shoulder. What are you doing up? Crimped my neck. We gotta fight a demon with a knife? Damn. Good scare. Good scare. I expected it to be a false scare and it was not. Hi. This is a surprise. Oh, that's her mom? Bet? It seemed like her parents were rich. Wait, she's adopted, I bet. Cause she saw her mom OD, right? It was implied that she was the one who saw the mom OD. And I would assume then she was adopted into this family. Her face. Or is this her psychiatrist? A home visit though? That'd be a little weird. A disturbed young woman you only met for 10 minutes. God damn, she looks good for a grandma. Sorry. <laughs> I just feel like I've gotten stuck on it. I can't, you know, get it out of my head. I can't get this guilt out of my head. What is it you've been seeing and hearing? Echoes of what happened with my patient. Moments of stress-induced hallucination. That's not it at all. There's an actual demon. Have you been continuing to see patients while you've been coping with all of this? Okay, so that, that was not her mom. I realize now. <laughs> she just showed up out of the blue to her psychiatrist's office. That's gotta be the worst feeling as a psychiatrist to see like a patient just waiting on your doorstep. Cause like things are not going well <laughs> when they're sitting there waiting for you. Oh my God, you made it. Hi. If the kid, if we got a kid smiling, ooh. Gracias Harper. Gracias Harper's mom. Ooh, that one's from Aunt Rose. What is it? It's like a head, severed head. <laughs> What'd you get? <laughs> she killed the cat! <laughs> No, 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 no. Wow. How disturbing. <laughs> I heard you were brought into the ER. I wanted to come down and check on you. How are you doing? Fine. How do you not ask for help? How do you not be like, hey, remember that patient that slashed her fucking face and throat? Yeah, she was right. There was a demon and I'm seeing it now. Like, I feel like people would believe you because that crazy event that happened, like now there's a, there's like a second person who could corroborate it. And I need you to know that I'm not crazy, okay? Something is happening to me. <sighs> he's gonna be like, no, he's, he's gonna shut her down. I, I just feel that energy from this man. It's gonna be really hard for you to believe 
Maybe we just go inside. No, 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 what? Something is threatening me. Some kind of a evil spirit or energy. I you got you got to pick your words carefully. I'm being threatened by energy. Yeah, it's, that's a hard sell. If you're like, hey, there's a demon. Demons are real. You have a much better chance of convincing somebody rather than being like, hey, this is gonna sound crazy, but I'm being threatened by energy. Because she described experiencing the same thing before she died. Would it be weird for movies to reference other movies? Like we watched Truth or Dare, right? Which is a, what was that about? Like they played a game of Truth or Dare and it, you had to play. And if you didn't play, you died. Could this girl be like, hey, remember that movie Truth or Dare? It's kind of like that, but there's just a demon following me. And it's making me see the smileys. But they never reference movies in movies. I really need you to say something. Bitch, you're crazy. What do you want me to say? Oh, you're dead. You're not supportive of her at all. Rose, you're talking about fucking ghosts. No, 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 it's not. It's not a ghost. Not a ghost. No. Energies. I can't. I cannot fucking do this right now. Oh, also, <laughs> she killed the cat and packaged it into a present for her niece, nephew. That's looming as well. They haven't addressed that yet. I am not crazy! Sorry. But it's genetic, isn't it? What's what? the mom? Mental illness. You can inherit it from a parent. Yeah, you can, but that's not a conversation you have while they're having an episode, my guy. <laughs> Did you kill Mustache? No, 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 that was not. Uh oh. Then tell me, what happened to him? His performance isn't very good either. I don't think he's a bad actor. He's just not bringing the right energies. He's doing kind of more dismissive exasperation, but it's just not. It's not the right match to her crazy right now. You know what I mean? Then tell me. Then tell me. Did you kill a cat? It's just not the right delivery for this moment. What happened to him? It was this thing. It was the energies, my guy. Oh, damn. This girl is losing her marbles. Oh, wait, here they are. Found them for you. Hello, girl, do you want your marbles? <laughs> I spent, I think, what, $7 on these marbles? This joke does not feel worth $7. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I bought these during the Aladdin video. Ooh, Jafar's lost his marbles. <laughs> Damn it. I wish I had planned that joke out. It would be so funny if I was like, oh, here they are, and I just had marbles. I'm gonna save that. In fact, I'm gonna go buy marbles right now on Amazon. All right. And then I bought them for this joke. I had them for a while, too. I kind of kept forgetting. Maybe it would have been better if I had just always forgotten. Where do we go from here now, I wonder? Oh, yeah, creepy. Oh, fuck. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Fuck you. <laughs> to me, the scariest thing in, in horror movies, shh. The scariest thing is always like the empty doorway that you, it's dark inside. Because when you go home later, like if you're at a theater, or if you're just at home watching this when the movie's over and it's nighttime, you look over and the door's open, you can't see inside. It's just like a bathroom. It's the same bathroom you looked in like the entire time you've lived there. And there's been nothing bad in there. But now like it's dark and there could be something in there. You know what I mean? That's way scarier than like a smiling person right in your face. Like they did before when she fell through the table. God, now I'm paranoid now. I'm like, did I hear something? No. Are oh, you gonna hide under the sheets? What a baby. What a child. It's okay, Scream Oh. That's scary. I don't know. Let's let's explore this. Go through this. Don't cut away. Like we're in the throes of scary, and instead of you just throw that away for a jump scare. Like, that's so... You took, like, genuine fear and turned it into, like, the cheap scare. Like, you had the genuine thing. Don't trade that. Don't trade that. That was an uneven trade. Did Gabriel ever describe the things that he was seeing? I'll show you. Oh, he drew a bunch of... Oh, that's gonna be terror. He drew a bunch of photos of smiling faces or something? Oh, okay. That's way less scary than I thought it was gonna be. Abstract art. It was because he saw that awful woman. He watched someone die by... Did he ever... This woman's gonna be smiling. She's getting too close to information. Did he find any explanation in all of this? Give me the name! Get the fuck out of my house! So she said that 
the guy who bludgeoned himself with a claw hammer, the demon was trying to get inside of him. And I think there's got to be some sort of pattern where the demon needs access somehow. It needs a, a, a root into the body. There has to be some sort of trigger. It's trying to trigger her to a point where it can then seep into her system. Yeah. Oh, it's the cop. I bet it's the cop. He's always there for her. Gabriel Munoz. He gave a witness statement. He was staying at a hotel where a woman committed to be. I need you to do the same search again, but this time on her. That's a string. So she saw somebody die, right? It's a weird coincidence. She was also interviewed about us. <laughs> Interesting. What is she doing here? I wanted to see how you were doing. I was talking to my fiance. Uh, you're not gonna be engaged for very long. I hate to tell you this. I came to you. The person I'm supposed to trust most in the world and I, I confided. <laughs> you're a psychiatrist. Psychologist? Psychiatrist. I don't know. It doesn't matter. You are exhibiting so many symptoms. You cannot be upset that somebody tried to intervene by bringing in your psychologist. Like, I know she's going off the deep end now, but she still seems self-aware enough to see that she's acting in an unhinged way. And if she was seeing somebody act the way she's acting, she would also probably have a call for an intervention of some sort. You're fine as long as everything is easy and agreeable, but God forbid anything become real or even a tiny bit difficult. You slaughtered a cat and then gifted it to your nephew. I'm sorry if that's a little bit out of my league, ma'am. God, I so wish, I so wish we connected with her character early on in the film. What do, I, well, I don't know anything about her. Her mom OD'd. She likes trains, maybe? Uh, no, 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 she bought the train for her nephew. She, she doesn't even like trains! That was like the, one of the two things I knew about her. She doesn't like cats. I guess I know that about her. <laughs> Too soon? Not for me. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh! This was the trailer. She gets in the car. Doesn't her sister get beheaded? How are Decapitated? You? My eyes are open now. Oh, yeah. I have been. I am seeing energies. <laughs> Stop saying the phrases. Be like, hey, there is a string. Go with the logical. There's a string of people who witness a suicide, a sulfur side. I'm not saying the word. I'm not getting demonetized, all right? People are witnessing a sulfur side, and then several days later, they sulfur side themselves. There is a clear and definite and documented pattern. There is enough evidence where even if you don't believe in energies, you can believe that this is occurring, right? I'm being threatened by this, this Energy. entity. <laughs> oh, I thought I had it. Nobody else can see it except for me. You're, you're going out of your way to make yourself sound crazy. Like, I understand if you're just like regular Mary, Mary Jo, Anne, Hathaway. I understand, but you're like a psychologist. I, I'm going to fight those words. I don't know. Psychiatrists are not, are they are medical doctors. Psychologists are not. Psychiatrists prescribe medication. So I think she's a psychiatrist. She's a psychiatrist who deals with like patients who are losing their grasp on reality. Like she knows the language that they would say and not say, and if they wanted to be believed and not believed. Like she's dealt with enough cases where she would know, but she is using all of like the cliche language. This is exactly what happened to mom. I can't have you around while you're like this. Oh, is she going to her car? Is she going to her car? Oh, uh, this is not gonna be good. Oh yeah, this is the shot. This is the shot from the trailer. She's gonna come out. Oh, oh, no, 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 we, we, I thought I was gonna see something. I didn't see it, so you're good. I thought her sister was gonna die there, but I guess it wouldn't make sense with the, uh, how the demon trends. The demon wants to give you terrible imagery. Once you're traumatized to a point, then it kills you, that it is able to get inside you and make you do that in front of somebody, and that's how it transfers. Damn, go to town on that burger. Jesus. Oh, you got some on your... Oh, oh, you got it. Yeah, you got it. This same pattern, it goes back further. So far, I found 20 cases, and the things these people are doing in themselves, Rose... The reason I'm happy is because we can only go so long where she's, like, soloing this. It is interesting as she, like, gets alienated from her life, you know, and she can't trust anybody, and she, she doesn't know who to tell these secrets to. That's, that's interesting, but only for so long. Eventually, she needs an ally. And I knew it was gonna be the cop, because the cop, unlike the boyfriend... The cop, he has no vested interest, like, in her and checking up on her. Like, they're not together. The boyfriend has the vested interest in, in making sure she's okay. And he's, like, kind of, like, keeping her at an arm's length. Whereas the, the cop is, like, he was trying to, like, check in on her, pull her close a little bit 
while she was dealing with some traumatic stuff. So I figured he would be the one. Yes. We got an ally. Hell yeah. And we also got a case where a guy watched someone end their life, but then he murders somebody else instead of himself, which transfers the curse. So he's free of the curse. So there's a secret. Okay, so my patient, she was terrified, but she was not suicidal. Everything about her changed. It was like the person I'd been talking to was gone and something else had taken over. Taken over. I can predict these things like crazy. Sometimes I think like, so anybody else could come in and do what I do uh, on YouTube. They could come in and make good commentaries. But then I just guessed these lines and I'm like, no one else could do that. No one could have predicted what she was gonna say, but me. How long was it between each victim's death? Sounds like four days to a week. None of them survived longer than a week. Yeah. Some of them didn't even make it past four days. I've been paying attention. I'm, I also lock in super hard, okay? I'm like defending my job. <laughs> Who else can do it? Who else is as locked in as me? No one. Today was my fourth day. So this is day five, the beginning of day five. She got she got to figure this out in the next day and a half here. And look, you only got 10 minutes with it, okay? It's the best I could do without a court order. So this guy had, he, he instead of sulfur siding, he killed someone else. I have a patient, a young woman. Okay, it's obvious it's you. So I have this friend who's going through something. You got the like comfort sweater on, your, your arms are all bandaged up from wounds. Your hair is unkempt. What the fuck do you want from me, huh? What more do you want from me? There's been other chains in the past. Found one that was in Brazil a few years ago. A man there escaped that chain by killing his neighbor and passing it to his neighbor's wife. That's the only way you can get rid of it. She has to make sure there's a witness for it to pass to because this thing needs trauma to spread. It needs trauma to spread. So the more traumatized she is, I, I kind of figured that was going to be the case because she witnessed her mother OD when she was young, so she was already traumatized. So she was, you know, uh, susceptible to having the curse passed to her already. It's like he killed someone! You? You couldn't figure that out? You haven't? Get out of here! Get away from me! What do you say? Nothing. Nothing. He's out of his fucking mind, Joel. I, I can't root for her. Like, obviously he said something. Like, he was just crazy, yeah. He said he was seeing energies. I don't know what he's talking about. What a lunatic. You both know that he went through the thing that you're going through. Like, he's not great. Oh, I, ooh, ooh. She pissing me off. I, I, the only way to probably stop it is to her, for her to sulfur side of her own volition and not in front of anybody. Maybe her mom had it and her mom figured that out and that's why she OD'd? On purpose, perhaps? Thinking? Just thinking out loud here? Because the guy at the jail, he was saying that there's like multiple threads of this thing. It's not just like this one demon. <sighs> God damn, girl. Jesus. Oh, you are crazy. I don't care how scared I'm gonna get. I'm not gonna bite my nail so hard that I almost like chew my finger off. Was she, is she thinking what I was thinking? Take it into your own hands and then the curse can't spread. This house is a tear down. Were they talking about this house? No shot. This is such a nice, it's got a booth, a booth with a wind. Oh, what a nice house. Shh. It's been a long time since we've seen a smiler. She's, she's gonna be a smiley. Trevor mentioned there'd been talk of ghosts. Uh, Not ghosts. I never use the word ghosts. I said energies. How are you feeling today? <laughs> Top of the world. I'm pretty sure my fiance thinks I'm crazy. You are. My sister has just totally shut me out. You get that her son a dead cat. And now my former therapist is making unannounced house calls. Other than that, I'm really good. Stop chewing on your fingers. You gotta learn, girl. Get those fingers out of your mouth. Should you get that? No, it's a landline call. If they really want to reach me, they call my cell. Rose, it's Madeline. I've been trying your mobile all morning. Rose. Almost time, Rose. <laughs> <With the book. laughs> ah, the drill. What's that for? <gasps> Am I being possessed? What's that for? Oh, oh, you're gonna kill somebody. You're actually gonna do it? How though? The demon thrives on trauma. And you, you attempt to like treat trauma. So you're gonna inflict trauma on somebody? 
so that you could live? Oh no. Who would she, would be her boss? She's not gonna do it though, right? <gasps> the crazy guy? You're not gonna kill him in front of, no. Cause like, listen, th like then you just go to jail, like the other guy. You gonna spend the rest of your life in jail then instead? Rose, <laughs> Rose, you can't be around patients. <laughs> oh, shoot. Ah! No. She has to be, this has to be in her head. Why is the guy not stopping her? This has to be in her head. <laughs> I call that shit. I don't think you should be alone right now. I need, I need to be alone. Guys. She's losing her. Yo, where did, where did cop guy go? Rose, I saw police APB go out for you that says you're dangerous. What? I know what I need to do, but if there's no one else around, then it has no way to pass. As long as I'm alone. The plan is just to avoid people I, forever? I don't think it'd be forever. If the, if the demon is moving at like every four to seven days, it, it passes on to the next person, it feels like it would expire or it would die out. Just my theory. I think this is the right move. God, that would look so good in ultra high definition. Unfortunately, though we paid for it, we're looking at 480p. God, ooh, $2. Oh, is this the teardown? Oh, your mom, OD. This is the teardown. That makes sense. I was gonna say, the other one had a booth. You're not gonna tear down a place that has a booth. And now she's gonna face her trauma and that's gonna exercise the demon. The demon's gonna get on the treadmill. <laughs> I hate me too, don't worry about it. Why would there be electricity? No one's been here in forever. It's an empty house. Someone's gonna be in that chair though. Like at some point we're gonna cut over, someone's gonna be in that chair. I'm, I'm worried though, because People are looking for her and they would look in this place. So if she wanted to be away from people, she should go where people wouldn't expect her. Also, she can't camp out here. She didn't get any food. I don't know that she has the ability to forage, so. Oh, hello, child. Rose, help me, please. Mommy made a mistake. Call for help. Hey. Rose! <laughs> Why? So she let her mom OD? It wasn't a sulfur sign? It was an accidental sulfur? They, like, we, we haven't seen the mom be abusey. The mom didn't mistreat her at all. I mean, I know they're poor, but that just kind of makes you look terrible. Like, you, you, what's your justification? If only we knew a couple things about this main character. She doesn't even like trades! What do we know? Girl, nothing works. It's been 15 years. Oh, I don't know that I would explore. I would sit my ass down in that chair and not move. So this woman, by the way, hey, she, one, watched her mom OD, didn't call for help, and then murdered a cat and then gifted it to her niece, to her nephew. Are we rooting for her? <laughs> Is she gonna apologize to her mom or something? Hey, ma, sorry for letting you OD. My B, my bad. Then why did you let me die? Why didn't you save me? Oh, oh. I wish that I would die. Because I yeah. was afraid of you, <laughs> and you were a monster. Son of a bitch! You need to set that shit up. I'm sitting here questioning, like, why you would let her die, and you're gonna be like, oh, well, let's flesh out the the relationship at the end of the third act. Why? If we would have known this about her earlier, we would have had a, a something to like latch on, and we'd understand her a little bit. I have to let it go. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's gotta die though, so. This is not real. What are you? Ooh, now that's fucking creepy. That's, that's, yeah. I think the sound effects sometimes can take away from the fear. I think sometimes horror directors, they're more going for like the rather than like the and I hope that makes sense. Cause uh, instead of using words to describe things, I just kind of use sounds. <laughs> Again, who else could do what I do? You know what I mean? Like I want to sink in the unease. I think that's what's really scary for me. But we're gonna get a loud sound effect in a second here. Any second. Does that demon got Invisalign on? It's just got a couple crooked teeth that's just trying to fix while also doing the horror. It's like, oh, I got my horror shift tonight. I I just put them in. I have to wash them if I take them out. I'll just leave them in. 
Oh, and then this place is gonna burn down. It is in the middle of like a, a forest though. They haven't like taken care of the wheat. Like that fire is gonna spread. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now all that's left is, uh, what's this ending gonna be? Is it gonna be like a nice ending where it's like, oh, it's over? Or is there like sequel bait where someone's smiling in the background and the curse hasn't fully been lifted? It's just changed persons? I've been afraid letting people get too close because I was afraid of what they might see if they really looked. And I kept people at a distance. Mm -hmm. Did we see that? Did we see her with her walls up? We didn't get much backstory on her character. I think that's the fatal flaw of this movie. We just didn't know her well enough. We didn't see the mom being cruel towards her. Could you stay with me while I sleep? Yeah, of course I'll stay with you. What's up? I'll stay with you forever. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was about to propose. I thought... <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's sweet. It's sudden. But apparently, that's the demon, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, no. She's gonna kill him. And then she's gonna snap out of it. And then someone's gonna have seen this. And then they're gonna get the curse, right? <laughs> hey, good on him. Look at this. <laughs> oh, I see what they did. They skipped a few frames. They skipped a few frames. That makes it terrifying. I like that a lot. It's so subtle. You don't notice it the first time. But just that, it's like a shocking, jarring movement. That's what gets you. That was good. Oh. Whoa. Oh. No, no, no! Dude, you gotta go! You gotta go! If I were her, I'd just be like, hey, I know how to defeat this thing. You gotta go, though, right now. <laughs> She snapped. She's gone. Rose! Man, is that why we didn't do backstory on her character? So we don't feel too bad when she dies at the end? She gonna light herself on fire. Rose. Yeah, she's done for. This girl really lost her marbles, huh? <laughs> I will say that the film had a strong message which is, uh, if you are traumatized, just stop being traumatized, loser. You wanna die? No, stop being traumatized. I think I, I think with horror movies, I gotta stop just predicting everyone's gonna die. <laughs> the sister, her husband, the uh, her, her boss, her fiance, like I predicted a lot of death. <laughs> I can't believe I thought he was gonna propose. Like that was in my head. He's like, I'll stay with you forever. And I was like, oh, that's a dark proposal, but okay. <laughs> and that's, like I said, that's poor planning on her part. Don't go to a place where you can be found. Go to a place where like no one would ever expect you. Go to like an abandoned warehouse or something. Thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Sign up, nordvpn.com slash in trouble. Appreciate you, Nord. And I'll see you guys next time. All right, toodles.